What is a broke man? How do ladies define a broke man? That's our discussion today, guys. So, hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, it's the older man. And I'm back to discuss something that is quite irritating to a lot of men. Ladies, I need you to really tell me what is your definition of a broke man? Because men want to know. Why is it that so many men are discounted from the dating market because they're brokies? What the hell does that mean? And as I scour the internet and as I sort of examine this issue, I realize that it comes down to one simple point. A brokey is a man who refuses to pay for a woman's bills. That's it. Now, a brokey doesn't necessarily mean that he isn't a hardworking guy. That's a different definition, apparently. But women seem to put them all in the same category. Because a brokey is a guy that's working his ass off, but his intellect and his capability, his physical capabilities, whether he's working two or three different jobs trying to make ends meet, his mental capacity does not allow him to make any more money than he is currently, which does not satisfy her needs. Then... We have the other category of men, the deadbeat. The guy who stays at home, plays video games, does nothing really to advance himself. He might work a little 95 job, minimum wage type dude. After that, that's it. Don't take care of himself, just sort of exists, floats through life, doesn't invest, doesn't do anything to enhance his life beyond getting through each day, day by day. I work my little nine to five, make the boss happy. I go home, I grab a beer, I grab my video game, whether it's in my mom's basement or whether it's shacking up with two or three other guys in, a, in an apartment. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm happy. And he coasts through life. No way he can afford any woman at all. No way that he can afford to have a dating life to appease any woman at all. So guys, that's the subject we're going to get involved with today because I need to understand what the hell is a brokey. We need to dive deep into this subject because apparently women don't want them. So I got a couple of videos. I want you guys to listen. But before we get into it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if this is your first time or you've been here and you haven't subscribed yet. Come on, give the older man some love and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. More importantly, if you guys want to chat with me, if you want some wisdom, if you want some mentoring on any subject whatsoever, life, get me over on askanolderman.com. Easy. Just book a quick session, half an hour or an hour, and I will do my best to help you. All right. And if you have a quick question, just, just a little, I, something's clicking in your head, you want an answer to it, and you need a guy with wisdom, get me over on Instagram on Ask an Older Man. So let's get into the first video. If you give in to the social policing, you believe that these men will love you if you provide for them, if you take care of them, just build with them, when in reality you're building them up, you're going to see firsthand why they were broke in the first place. You will learn that men are broke for a reason. And honestly, all these women sharing their stories is enough for us to realize the dangers of broke men. Hey bestie, welcome to the Spoiled Girly Support Group where we talk about how to get that bag while also securing your own bag. I'm your host Elle and let's get into it. On today's episode, we are talking about once again, how you should stop dating broke men part two, because apparently one video wasn't enough and y'all are still out here dating broke men, okay? Like, can we not? We are reacting to a video of a woman who says that she is dating a broke guy, quote unquote. And we will also watch videos of other women reacting to that video and talking about their personal experiences of dating broke men and how it didn't really work out well for them. I am strongly convinced that women should not have a podcast because women give women really, really, really bad advice. I say, with, I say that with a little bit of jest, a little bit of humor, but I see so much bad advice from women to other women. But I also see some women giving some pretty good sound advice as well, because there's two types of women, it seems. There are women who are giving bad advice to keep women single, 
And there's women giving women constructive advice to stop them from making stupid mistakes. I say to you, the difference between these two women that I'm going to highlight is that one has a mentality that the key to happiness is a man paying for her lifestyle. Please understand the difference in how these two people view relationships. The woman that we're going to see first, she's the one that's going to tell you, don't date a broke guy. But like I said earlier, we need to define what is a broke guy. And she has defined it in a very specific way. A broke man to her is a man who is not generous to the woman. That's her definition of broke. All right. But listen, come on, l let her talk. I want to hear her. Let's hear what she has to say. Um, okay, because apparently broke men are most often insecure men who will bring you down. We will also talk about the dangers of dating men with high external locus of control. So we have a lot to get into today. I'm dating a broke guy and it really, really sucks because he has the best personality, hands down. I have so much fun with him and but it's like it's gotten to the point where right now i'm not doing as financially well as i normally do so in the past like we have taken trips but i've paid for the trips i've paid for the hotel i've paid for the rental of the car if we've been to concerts i've paid for the tickets he does what he can when he can but he doesn't do enough you know what i'm she lost me at he has a great personality but i'm not doing as financially well and i'm paying for everything he doesn't have a great personality if he's fine with you doing all of that that's not a great personality okay you mean he doesn't mistreat you he doesn't talk down to you he doesn't do all these bad things to you you think he has a great personality because of that if you are financially not doing well after being with a man because now you are paying for two adults the maintenance and leisure activities of two adults you are subsidizing this man's existence in a patriarchy why wouldn't he be nice to you wow so the only reason a man can be nice apparently in a patriarchy is because the woman is paying the majority of the bills that's what this woman is insinuating that's what she's insinuating you know I really feel sorry for most women. I'm sorry for them because a lot of them are going to be single listening to this sort of shit. Imagine if men thought this way once they made more money than women. Just just reverse the roles. Just reverse the roles and you see what we're talking about. You, you understand why the patriarchy worked? Because when we restricted women and their behavior, morality was at its highest. Women respected themselves. We gave women total and utter sexual freedom, the pill. We told women, hey, if you want to go and screw 10, 15 guys a week, that's your business. We're not going to respect it, but hey, you got the liberty to do it. What did women do? Yes, large majority of them went out there and threw their bodies at every single Tom, Dick, and Harry. We said, hey, you want a job? If you want to work, yeah, you can work. But with a job, there is responsibilities that come with that. If you want to make more money than men, or just as much money than men, hey, there's some responsibilities that come with that. You have to then start saying, okay, I'm now on the same level as a man. What do men do with their money? Men invest their money. Men provide for a family. Men do adult things. Do you realize that the only time you hear women talk about money is whether it's getting a bag going on trips getting the latest designer bullshit the nicest car just think about all the things that women talk about when it comes to money none of it is about life dealing with real life experiences oh yeah you know what i need to be able to uh, put a, a certain amount of money away to provide for my husband and child I need to put a certain amount of money away because in my old age, hey, I'm not going to be able to survive on my 401k or my, my social security. That's for bare necessities. I need to make sure that I have a roof over my head when we're no longer able to work. 
Women don't talk about those things. The only time you hear women talk about money is when it's about playing. They're like kids. They're, they're not used to the responsibility of having their own money. This is the problem. Tell me I'm wrong. You show me any video where women are talking about, hey, investing. Hey, about providing for my husband and kids. Listen, man, I know top CEOs, women who are top CEOs, and their men, their husbands are making one tenth of what they're making. And you know what? Those women have a tremendous amount of respect for those men. Why? Because she sees the value in a man beyond money. A man brings a lot more to a woman's life than just money. But women, modern women, don't see that shit. Let's hear a little bit more about what she has to say. Why wouldn't he have a great personality? Let's get into this comment. Someone said, My man was listening and said he got a great personality because he got no bills. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I can relate. I feel like I do have a great personality when I have no bills. Valid. Let's keep watching. I'm saying, but he does what he can when he can. But it's gotten to the point where it definitely sucks because I'm not doing as well financially. I can't afford to do things for two people. I can't even afford to do things just myself right now. So because I can't afford to do things for two, we actually don't do anything. We haven't done anything. Like if I'm being for real, for honest, like in September, for my birthday month, he did he does celebrate me around those times though. He does celebrate me around the holidays. He does celebrate me around my birthday. We already talked about this in this class. It's called His Lifestyle is Your Lifestyle. His Lifestyle is Your Lifestyle. And it means that whatever this man's lifestyle is before you date him, that will be the lifestyle that you will live. Doesn't matter if you have a completely different lifestyle all by yourself. You are going big on your birthday. Day, you're going on all these trips you have all these little luxuries in your life because you yourself all by yourself you can afford it okay little trips going on all these little trip all these luxuries like i said to you guys that's all women think about what fun am i not having in the moment when i have my money oh i can't afford to take him on any of those fun trips that i would waste my money on that I should be investing in my future. The down payment on the house I should be making. Oh no, we gotta go on our trips. Oh, we need the bag. Oh, I, oh, I need the bag. Oh, I need to be at the fine dining restaurants. That's all, that's it. Just absolute total garbage. I need to spend my money on dumb shit. So what do we have? We have a woman who has very little responsibility. And she's now being criticized by a woman who has very little sense of responsibility as well. Spoiled girl. What's the name of her channel? Spoiled girl. Spoiled girly support group. Spoiled girly support group. Should I say, I, you know what? Let's listen to a little bit more. To be honest, this is the most irritating video I've ever watched in a while. And then you look at a man and he can't afford to go big on his own birthday. He can't afford to go on all these trips all by himself. Don't think that when you get together, you will be still able to go big on your birthday, go on all these trips that you want to go to because you've been doing that all by yourself. And then you get with a man who can't do that for himself. And then you think magically somehow that he will adopt your lifestyle. Oh, he will want to go on these trips too, at least pay his own way. No. Okay. She wants to bring her lifestyle into this man's lifestyle when the man couldn't even afford it all by himself when he was alone. There's a reason why he wasn't living that lifestyle before because he couldn't afford it. Okay. So you think that you're going to bring in this new thing into his life and everything will be magical and happy and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So whenever I say date for lifestyle, not love, because you will actually be able to flourish more in love when the lifestyle that you have been accustomed to all by yourself is the same lifestyle that you are living when with a man maybe even upgraded, okay? Why would you downgrade your life to be with a man, okay? First of all, men inherently are labor, okay? You need to listen to this song called Labor by Paloma. Like, you make me do too much labor all day, every day, therapist, mother made nothing of- Like, I can't. You need to listen to that song. All right. I was thinking that this was going to be very informative, but most of this is literally her ranting about why a man shouldn't be paying 
your bills. And it's <laughs> and this is what I'm saying. Not ever seriously, not every woman should have a mic in front of them on a podcast. It's really frustrating to watch that. Oh man. So let's listen to this lady. She sort of brings it home, sort of starting to bring some sense and normality into female understanding. Ladies, let me put you on game real quick. Let's get into it. Some of y'all think that simply because y'all fine and you got you a cute little resume, you are deserving, entitled to a man spoiling you, spending surplus of his hard-earned money on your bills, shopping sprees, and random luxurious vacations without you having to give anything in return. And then you have the nerve to get mad when that man does inevitably want something in return. Now, you and I both know that nothing in this life is for free. And you are the one who put a price tag on yourself. You put yourself on the auction block and you said sold to the highest bidder. You objectified yourself, especially when you put out to the universe that you can be bought at a certain price. Don't be mad when men who have it or pretend to have it come at you doing just that and nothing else. Stop valuing what's superficial over what's deep. It's the things that money can't buy that truly matters. I'm telling you that from experience. I know what culture is telling you, but that's going to keep you empty and single. Yes, empty and single. Because when you put a price on the coochie, you have literally turned yourself into a commodity. You thought I was going to say hoe, right? Well, a hoe is a commodity. Made to be bought, made to be sold, made to be traded. Yes, that's where most women have categorized themselves. If you watched my video from last night, you would have seen me covering this in great detail. Because that's where the Western society has put themselves. I want to go back to this woman because there's a part of this video that she said something that just, you, you, need, to, you need to hear it. Okay, and simply being with a woman upgrades a man's lifestyle. Okay, so all these men saying like, well, why would I want to be with a freeloader? Like, all you females just want to take our money. I'm like, okay. And honestly, I don't even want to combat these statements anymore. Like, okay, you believe that, good luck. Okay, because the reason why men are so market driven is because they have to respond to us women. Okay, we set the market, we set the standard. And if they don't like it, they can walk away. We are not haggling anymore. Like, okay, you believe that, bye. And I say a lot of this with kindness. I was kind of harsh, but I don't know. Sometimes people need tough love or just plain truth spelled out like that. I don't know, but it just so frustrates me. She seems like she has her shit together. She has her finances together. She desires a certain lifestyle and she already gave that to herself. And she actually managed to give it to this man too. So I just don't understand like why. And I really think it all comes down to consuming all these misogynistic content and having guy friends who brainwash you into believing all these beliefs that benefit only men, okay? There's a reason why I tell you all the things I tell you, okay? Like, I can't. So that's my advice. Dump him. She found one woman that apparently makes more money than the guy that she's dating. Or is she? Because I strongly feel that if she chose that man to date, there is more to that man than just the money or his good looks. These are the quiet guys. The guys that save their money just because he's not spending it on her frivolous shit. That doesn't mean he doesn't have money. Just mean that he doesn't spend it on her. So if she's dating a guy, she looks like a pretty intelligent woman. Listen, I can put my hand on a chopping block and say, that guy is not a deadbeat. Meaning he's not home playing video games. That means he's hustling. And if he's hustling, that's not a guy that's going to spend stupid money on a woman. So... She's making her money. He's not spending it on her. So now she feels that if she wants to have fun, I need to spend my money and I also have to spend it on him. Because if he's a smart guy and he isn't married to her, dude, you're doing the right thing. Don't freaking spend your money on some woman that's just doing some dumb shit. A woman who cannot see the future with you, don't spend money on them. That's the lesson, gentlemen. If she's one of these stupid, frivolous spenders. Oh, this concert is coming up, honey. We need to go see our favorite singer. Oh, why? We could stay home and watch it on TV. Why do we have to go? No, I want to go to say I want to go to the concert. It's amazing. Oh, my God. Why can't you just take me? Well, you know what? I got my own money. I could take you. But I, I'm, but I want to go to a concert. My birthday is coming up. Uh, what are you getting me for my birthday? Well, babes, you know, trying to save to 
get us a new this or buy a new car or oh it's my birthday how can you ignore my birthday oh my god i can't believe you that kind of woman gentlemen get rid of her that woman does not see the future that woman isn't into building that woman looks at life as a freaking playground she don't understand the value of money Here's the thing about when women make money. And I want to bring you guys this video because for those gentlemen who have been married to a woman for an extended period of time and she has excelled you, you have to be very careful of her hypergamy because a woman is constantly looking to upgrade. The woman wants to find the best man that she can get at that time. I want you to listen very carefully. Because I know some of you gentlemen have been in this situation. How do you get to year 20 and want to call it quits? And that was initiated by you. It's interesting because in today's day and age, 80 to 85 percent of divorces are initiated by women. It's interesting that you wanted to do that 31 years ago. So what did you face 31 years ago where you said, I'm done? She she faced my complacency. Mm -hmm. Like. This is cool. I don't need to work anymore at loving her. I don't want to work. I don't need to work anymore at making her feel important. I don't need to work anymore at making her feel respected. I, I don't, she, she has desires and visions and dreams, uh, but I don't have to be concerned about that because she's there every day. Mm. And so it reached the perfect storm. And when she finally just said, I've had enough. See, people have to, you have to understand that we change. And so she had studied in Europe, studied in in, Fran in Paris, France, and and so she's now okay. I've been exposed to some things, and uh, I got I got some things I want to make happen. Oh, girl, don't worry about that. It kept on moving, and pretty soon it got to a place like you're not hearing me, you're not paying any attention to me, uh, and I'm unfulfilled, I'm unappreciated, mm. I'm disrespected. So let me get out of this, and, and so that's what happens. Uh, it happens at different times in marriage. Yeah. Now, he said a lot of things in that video. Now, you guys got to understand, despite what women, modern women tell you on, uh, on the internet, there are a lot of women that do strive in relationships and marriages. They now have time to actually put into education. If she has a supportive man, hey, she can do her schooling. She can go back to college. She can take advantage of a lot of the government programs and a lot of the opportunities that are available during in, in the college environment, etc. So a driven woman, she isn't that type of woman that wants to stay home and just rock kids and, and clean nappies and, <laughs> and wash clothes all day. There are certain women that are driven. They want more. And you can't blame them for that. I know this because I'm married to my wife who's sort of like that. She's in a happy medium. So when he says that, you know what, she wants a divorce. Now, it, it seems like it never happened because 31 later, years later, they're together. So somebody had to adjust their thinking, either him or her. 30 years together or any extended period of time beyond seven years, people's mindsets start to shift. Once the honeymoon period is over, and you guys settle into your, your marriages, one or both of you are going to move in the same direction or each of you in different directions. And I'm hoping that both of you are at least going up. If somebody's dragging the other person down, that is definitely grounds for divorce. Just saying. If there's kids involved, there is no option. You stay in it until the kids have become adults. You just have to grin and bear it and, and survive in that wed and that marriage so that you guys can be there for the kids. Be civil. Now, if both of you are growing together but, but growing apart, that is something you have to be careful of. But if he's helping you, if he, the man, is helping you to grow, then that is a good man. He might not have that urge to to climb the ladder like you are. He might not see the opportunities, but if he's there taking care of the kids while you're out at college trying to get your master's or your doctorates or, or you're trying to push as a woman, that's a good man. 
still but you still have to fight hypergamy which is your natural instinct to go for a better man than you have now because he don't have the degree he's not making any more money than you are you are excelling i divorced my husband why did I divorce my husband? I divorced my husband because I was making a certain amount of money. I divorced my husband because I thought I didn't need him anymore. I divorced my husband because I had this senior position at work and thought I held the same position at home. I divorced my husband because I thought I was better than him because I had my degree now. I divorced my husband because I thought a successful marriage meant I was here and he was down here. That is not success. That's fucking sickness. I found myself divorced and out there looking for love in all the wrong places. Fucking this one and that one and that one and that one and this one and that one. And my body count going up and my value going down. I'm just going to call it like a TI is. Now, I've had the opportunities to meet a woman like that, the CEO of Pepsi. Multi, multi, multi millionaire. Her husband, he takes a back seat. She's the CEO. She gets to meet presidents. I did a video on this a uh, couple months back, but the point is she still respects her man. She's still married f almost 40 years later to her lowly man because he, he stepped into a role, a supporting role. Um, my desk was being given away to get I found a, a letter um, the other day when we moved back to our headquarters and purchase after renovation, I had the opportunity to go through all my old mail and I found a, a letter that my daughter had written to me, my second daughter, and I joined PepsiCo when she was 18 months old. And I lived in the company. I just worked all the time. And um, my desk was being given away to get a new desk. And she said, Mom, you can't give away that desk. I said, why not? She said, I slept in this little area underneath your table <laughs> with my blankie all the time I was growing up. How can you give this desk away? And I sat back and said, my God, what a memory for her to have. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and then I was going through the files. There's a, a letter from her to me, which I'm keeping because I have to remind myself of what I lost. It says, dear mom, I love you. Please come home. Please, 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 please come home. I love you, but I love you more if you came home. <laughs> this is my four or five year old writing these notes. So how did I do it? Huge number of sacrifices, huge, huge number of sacrifices, trade-offs. Uh, and I think through it all, I might be a CEO today and I love the job, I love where I am, but I will tell you, if I had to write a letter to myself as a younger person, I'd say, be careful about all the choices you're making because uh, you will look back and it'll hurt like hell. And it does. Mm -hmm. Because they know, both of them know that what each are bringing to the table is very important. She needs that masculine energy from that man. She needs that supportive role from that man. That's important to her. But she had opportunities and she had a gift. She grew. But that doesn't mean that he is not valuable to her and she's not valuable to him. You guys keep focusing on the money. That's where you're going wrong. So I want you to listen to this young lady again. This is the second time I'm bringing you a video of her showing you a different mindset of how women think in this space enemy here yesterday you know i think the real enemy here is lifestyle content you guys eat up lifestyle content so much like you're literally obsessed to the point that it detaches you guys from reality think about it guys if you're constantly watching videos of girls saying oh i don't want a broke man like if he loves me he's gonna buy me chanel do you not think that it will automatically make you value money less because you think that it falls from trees because the way that they're saying it, it's like it's so easy to get a Chanel bag. That's why you come to reality and you demand Chanel bags from men. And what these girls like to do is that they like to defend themselves and say, oh no, I have my own money. Like I work hard for my money. But if you think about it, people that actually work hard for their money would never just unprovoked say a person that can't afford a Louis Vuitton is broke. When you actually work for your money, you're able to sympathize with the next person and be like, yo, this person can afford a car. I know what it takes to get a car. There's credit, there's banks, there's interest, there's insurance. The fact that you have a car says a lot about how you're doing well in life. 
Also, what this lifestyle content does is that it distorts the definition of love and what love is in a relationship. Love is a doing word. It's an action. It's not a price tag of whether you bought a Louis Vuitton bag or a Mr. Price bag. Guys, do you understand how nice it is to know that a man earns 2,000 rand? He has to pay for a car, his apartment, send money home, groceries, and then at the end of the day, still buy you a bag from legit because you asked for it. That willingness to buy you something that you ask for regardless of his responsibilities is what real love is. And that willingness guys is something that money will never buy and you can never put a price tag on it. When your man is taking you out on a date, it's not that there's money laying around and he has nothing to do with it. There's a lot of sacrifice that goes into it and that's what you guys don't understand. That willingness to adjust things and to make little sacrifices just so that you can be happy is where the real love is, not whether the restaurant is Starbucks or McDonald's. If you really understood the value of money and how life actually works, you wouldn't make it your personality online to demand things from men. Every day it's I want a man that's gonna buy me this and do this for me. Are you not tired? You will never see girls that understand what it is to work for your money do that because they know that a those things that you're demanding they are not easy instead what they do is they appreciate the men in their lives and what they do for them no matter if it's little or it's big but you appreciate it because you understand also these girls are very smart they know that they can never get commitment and love from these men they can only just get money so what they do is they pervert the idea of love so that you can think that they're being loved and you can want what they have what's really tied for you guys is sense of reality and common sense that's it man this girl is on fire go and check out her her site man seriously it's uh s silly i don't know how she pronounced her name she's south african but this is the second time i'm featuring a video on her i'm gonna try to i'll, I'll put her name in here s-i-h-l-e that's the name of her it's freaking great i love how she spit facts man seriously she's one of the most intelligent content creators out there right now and i can tell you she is invaluable to the female space this woman is keeping you ladies grounded please please listen to her all right so guys listen i'm gonna cut it short right here actually this is a pretty long one <laughs> thanks so much if you reached this far for being here with me today so listen some new stuff is going to come out of the woodworks i'm gonna really expand uh, ask an older man i'm gonna have a membership site and i'm gonna have courses available for you, a lot of you who need help and i'm gonna also work on a space where i can start introducing some of my male and female callers who are looking for a good mate i'm gonna work on that so look forward to some new stuff coming on all right if you guys want to get started on this and you want to be upfront in line send me a message on paul at askanolderman.com okay guys until next time ah, tomorrow okay always remember whenever in doubt always always ask an older man i'll see you guys soon cheers